Okay, just say your name and spell it for me, and I'll get your get a good volume. Okay, John Worthen, W O R T H E N, at Ball State University. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good. Okay. Go ahead, Mark. How about me? Are we okay, Tim? Okay. Uh, Dr. Werther, we have made our announcement to retire this morning. Could you explain to me your thoughts about why this is a good time to retire? I think it's a very good time um, because Ball State is in an excellent condition. Our academic programs are strong. Our faculty is excellent. Uh, we have a wonderful administrative team. Uh, Fundraising is going well. The building program is uh, off and running. Uh, it's just an excellent time for me to um, finish up my uh, career. It's been an excellent 15 years at Ball State. And uh, Sandra and I uh, think that um, it's a good time for us to step down and have the trustees bring somebody else in who is, uh, has lots of energy and uh, can really move Ball State to the next level. Okay. Now, we, we spoke of uh, the last 15 years. We'll be 16 when you retire next year. Right. Uh, go over one or two of your finest moments here, the things that stand out to you. Well, I think the uh, thing that I'm most proud of is the, uh, the way that we have uh, come together as a faculty and administration and trustees and staff and made the decision that Ball State is going to be an institution that has teaching and learning as its first priority. Um, our faculty do excellent research uh, and uh, research is a very close second priority, but our very first priority is teaching and learning. And I think that has really pulled us all together as an institution and helped us be um, differentiate ourselves from many other institutions across the Midwest. Any other personal memories about Ball State that uh, stand out in your mind? Well, we have lots of, uh, of, of uh, personal memories that, uh, that uh, were uh, great fun, and some of them were a little, uh, uh, were a little shaky, I remember. But um, certainly we had a, had a wonderful time when we uh, went to the Sweet 16 in basketball. That was a, that was a great uh, uh, time. And uh, thinking of athletics, uh, when we uh, went to a couple of bowls in the West, and football, uh, that was that was fun. I think one of the uh, the really uh, exciting times for me as a president was when I learned that uh, John Barber and John Hendricks, two of our outstanding faculty members, were named the best college teacher in the country in their respective fields, and both of them got that honor in one year, and uh, that's. Uh, that's one of the things that uh, we, we are about, uh, being uh, very solid teachers at Ball State. And uh, that, was a, that was a special time that I remember. After you leave in the next uh, year, what would, you like your mem uh, what would you like people to be saying about you when you leave? Well, um, <clears throat> uh, everyone will have their own uh, chance to uh, tell their own stories about, uh, about me, but um, I think uh, uh, the, the fact that we have worked together as, uh, as a team of faculty and administration and trustees, that's, uh, that's what I uh, would hope that uh, people would remember about us. Now also, uh, what's the future of the university right now? You say we're in great shape, looking to the year 2000 and beyond, what's our future? Well, uh, that will be uh, one of the, the uh, first things that a new president needs to do, uh, whether uh, uh, a woman or a man, uh, that person needs to develop uh, his or her own vision for the university over the next five to 10 years. I think it's pretty clear that we want to continue to work to be an outstanding teaching institution. Uh, and to differentiate ourselves from the very large uh, research universities on the one hand and the small liberal arts colleges on the other hand, to be that institution that is uh, the institution of choice for Indiana residents. One of the uh, uh, decisions that we've made in the last year is to uh, become a more selective university uh, and to improve our retention rate 
And I think that will uh, be something that uh, whoever the president is will want to continue because I think uh, the faculty are very strongly supportive of that, as are the trustees and the administration and the staff. And so I think um, we have the chance as a university to grow and to become better known as an institution that uh, really cares about students, offers a personal learning experience for our students. And we also uh, shot some photos today of uh, construction on campus. Since you came here in 1984, we've seen lots of changes, uh, a new arena, uh, expansion, adding new academic buildings. We had the South Quadrangle project starting real soon, a new building coming online next year. Give me your thoughts about the last 15 years as far as construction, expanding the, and changing the look of the campus. The uh, General Assembly has been very uh, supportive of our uh, request for major renovations. We've, uh, we've renovated Burkhart, uh, Lucina, uh, Burr School, Ball Gym. All those are major uh, renovations. And as you say, we will do a major renovation of West uh, Quad and uh, the Fine Arts Building. But of course, the next building that will come online is the Art and Journalism Building. And that will be finished up uh, in the winter of 2001. Um, and um, we have aspirations to build a new student center. Probably the next building after that uh, art and journalism building would be a new music instruction building, which will be built uh, on a scramble-like corner. Uh, and uh, we're going to uh, uh, use the federal dollars that we received for uh, enhancing uh, McKinley Avenue. And that will really uh, be uh, uh, an important step in the aesthetics on our campus because it will improve the way it looks. It will also improve safety as students and faculty uh, cross that street. And we'll have a, a bell tower and a carillon uh, on that street uh, out in front of the Ball and Weininger buildings. So um, in the next uh, five or six years, it's going to be a very exciting time as far as construction is concerned. What was your first memory or first thought when you came to campus back in the early 80s and looked out the quad. Do you have a, a memory that stands out, a thought stands out? Uh, well, um, it's kind of hard to remember uh, what I was thinking 15 years ago. I was pretty excited and, uh, and um, a little bit uh, anxious uh, as, uh, as all of us coming to a new job, uh, a little bit uh, uh, concerned about making sure that uh, I did a good job. The um, the, the quad, of course, is, a, is the center of the campus and uh, really sends a message that we are a collegiate uh, university. We really care about uh, our environment. And uh, it gives you that uh, feeling that uh, this would be a great place to go to college. That it, it was generally that kind of memory that I recall. You also have also spoken about uh, Ball State's one of the best kept secrets in America. Well, I think we are much better than our reputation, and that really will be a task for the new uh, president and uh, the team that uh, she or he develops. Um, we, uh, we have uh, powerful resources at this university, a great faculty, great facilities, great technology, a wonderful out-of-class activity program, a good community support from the Muncie and Delaware County community. Um, and um, we produce outstanding graduates. Um, we, uh, we need to get that word out to people so that uh, they understand the quality of this institution. We'll try to do that. My last question for you, um, in 12 months you, uh, you walk out of this office. What are your plans for you and your wife at that point? Well, we plan to, um, to live here in Muncie part of the time, at least, and probably spend some time in Colorado at our place there. Uh, I want to continue to be associated with the, the Muncie community. Uh, I'd like to continue to uh, attend uh, uh, activities at the university, lectures and concerts and athletic contests, uh, and uh, participate. I don't want to be... Uh, I'm, I'm certainly not going to... Uh, interfere with uh, any of the administrative decisions. And uh, I would, um, uh, I, I, I suppose, be available for advice, but I don't expect uh, to be asked for very much advice. But we, we would like to be part of the community, to do some volunteer work, continue to be involved in this community, but also uh, travel some. 
Uh, we're, uh, we're people who like to do uh, special travel, and, and Sandra has a long list of, uh, of places that we need to go. So that's, that's what we, our plans are. Tim, any other questions? You've, uh, you've made quite a mark on the university. Look, looking back through history, we have, you know, with Pruis and Emmons and, and those people. Do you think that, uh, I think, I personally think that people think the same thing of Worthen. What do you think about uh, leaving a legacy? Well, I, I tell you, uh, uh, anyone who aspires to uh, have the kind of impact that John Emmons had on this university is reaching pretty high. I... Uh, 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 I, I don't believe that uh, anyone could do what he did, which is, of course, bring us from a small college to a university. But it's just wonderful to be associated uh, in the same breath with names like uh, Proust and uh, Emmons uh, and, uh, and Pittenger, those people who have done a great job uh, at this university over the years. The, uh, one, of the one, one more thing. <laughs> La- Strong emphasis in years past and, and currently on technology. And how do you see yes. that as a role in the future for the university? Oh, I think uh, we are now uh, a leader in the use of technology to enhance t- uh, teaching and learning. Um, I, I just attended a um, uh, summer council of the American Association of State Colleges and Universities, and several people uh, talked with me about uh, our technology at Ball State. Uh, and many institutions are trying to emulate uh, what we have done here. It's, um, uh, I think, uh, something that we need to really continue to work on to uh, not lose the leadership that we have developed. And I think it is uh, in the interest of the education of our students that we continue to uh, emphasize technology because the 21st century will be um, a time when um, all of us will have to use technology, both uh, computer technology and we'll be flooded with, uh, with visual technology as well. So uh, I think we were uh, fortunate to, uh, to have the support of the General Assembly and uh, private uh, uh, support to, um, and, and corporate support to be able to uh, uh, develop a, a technology base at Ball State University, and I, I think uh, I'm very proud of that, and I think uh, we'll need to continue to work to stay ahead of the pack. Anything else you'd like to add? I'm going to continue to uh, work the next 11 months on all the challenges that face us, and there's still a lot to be done, so uh, I'm not retiring today. I'm only announcing that I'm going to retire next June. <laughs>